goosebumps. They're so good. It's scary. All right, Goosebumps fans, it's time for a good one, but this one most likely will be re will be snatched away as soon as it happens because I'm pre- I don't know. It I don't know. Scholastic does pull the strings. They do pull the strings, but I don't know for sure if they're actually crazy enough to do it. Seriously, I don't know if they're crazy enough to do it. But here we go. We're going to talk about Monster Blood 2 and 3. The fourth one, oh, the fourth one has to be all by itself because is another reason why it doesn't actually get to have a book. But anyways, let's talk about the publication history. So the original ones came out, definitely. And then we have the 2003 to 2008 reprints. It came out again. Then we get to the interesting part of 2015. The first one got to have a re-release and a new cover. But it's mostly because they wanted to get together and be like, hey, check this out, man. Monster Blood for breakfast, man. So it's like now you have these two books together, the origin of Monster Blood and the pseudo origin of Monster Blood somewhat. (laughs) Yeah, but the thing is, is that during this time, because now it's been six years, (laughs) not to mention the interesting part of where it's like, oh, man. They came close to having cuddles in the movie. If that's true, then that means that they do have no choice but to release Monster Blood 2. They would have no choice but to re-release it. But yet, he was cut from the movie. And even to this day, we don't have any Monster Blood 2 or 3 that's been re-released. And I don't even think they're going to even do retro tens of those. Why? Because of my conspiracy theory which of course if you don't understand or don't know it or haven't heard it yet here's the conspiracy theory i'm pretty sure now they're consolidating to the point of where they want monster blood to just be an anthology series of where it's like first we got evan then we got the new guy from monster blood for breakfast and then we have the two chicks that were in monster blood is back So they just did one book each so they don't have, in quotations, Evan hogging all the books. It does make sense. It's like it does make sense of where it's like now it's an anthology series instead of kind of like what happened to Michael Myers. Where it's like they wanted to be an anthology series and they did that with the third movie. But sadly, lots of people are rooting for it. So they brought Michael Myers back. And then now you have to mess up thing of where like they want to just like, oh, my gosh, it's crazy. And thank goodness it's not as messy as that one. But I'm pretty sure they want to actually rid and erase Monster Blood 2 and 3 from everyone's idea. I mean, yes, you can get it on online, but who exactly is reading the ebooks? Who exactly is doing that? As for the ones who actually are collecting. If you don't know, you don't know unless you actually look at the old, old, old things. And even then it's like, well, as long as you have an old book and it tells you every single book that's available, you wouldn't really know about Monster Blood 2 and 3. Of course, yes, you could do the Wikipedia page, but will really people actually look up Monster Blood? I mean, yes, they might look up how many books are Monster Blood, but other than that, they won't really know for sure. The new readers will only know Monster Blood for Breakfast and Monster Blood and Monster Blood is back. They won't know about two, three, or four. And of course, we all understand why the fourth one is so like, screw you. But still, the interesting part is why didn't they? I mean, again, money's money, right? <laughs> So why didn't you? And I'm pretty sure the little shop of hamsters, which Goosebumps Godzilla definitely actually linked it in a good way where it's like, and that's horror land and they didn't do it. It's like, that's the messed up part of where it's like, that was the only freaking nail in the coffin. That's like, if they did that, you can definitely say cuddles came from that store, but they didn't. And I need that cover. I need the newest cover. If they give us the newest cover and cuddles looks like one of those hamsters, we done. We done and we got the theory and the theory is 100% confirmed by the cover alone. 
but we don't even get to have the cover yet. And we, I don't even know if we will. Who knows if we're going to get adaption of Monster Blood 2 and 3. The sad part is that Scholastic will still be a part of the TV show, the newest TV show, which means they're able to say yes and no. And of course, you know what's going to happen with Werewolf Skin or even I Live in Your Basement, they most likely will say no. So if they act because that's the thing is that they're trying to get books they're trying to sell books so would they really actually make get them to do monster blood 2 and 3 the sad answer is no that would most likely never happen unless the guys are really pushing for it but i'm pretty sure in the end it's not going to happen i mean i really hope it does but just going by the fact of this conspiracy theory that I'm going on with is that, no, they want to consolidate it and make Evan only have one book alone. And then it went to the next person and went to the next person. That's what they're doing besides having a four book series of Evan. Anyways, that's all I can say. Yeah, they don't really have a good reason for it not to be reprinted in 2015. Have a scary day. Have a scary night.